Hey guys, so I just finished up sanding the uh, flange on the top side. So I think I am going to put a, uh, a layer of uh, a fiberglass on that just to reinforce it and uh, um, to eliminate any further or future cracking once I get it done. So that's the primary reason for it. So it cleaned up well. Say I just used the, uh, the the one inch sander, went around the whole edge of it all, and uh, looks really good. It's looking really good, and I'm glad that I put two layers on the underside when I done it on the bottom side of the flange because as I'm grinding and stuff, uh, the edge of the grinder is actually uh, is uh, is. And certain some places it's going down and touching the the new stuff, the new uh, the new material that I laid in a couple of days ago. Just because just because what was existing was so thin, it was about a sixteenth inch thick or thereabouts. And uh, I'm so glad that I put two layers of uh, glass underneath of it. So uh, once I put the third layer on the top side, and again, like I say, that will eliminate any of the cracking and stuff that you saw in one of the pictures and any future problems so I've come this far so I might as well keep on going so this is a little bit more cleanup this is what I'm going to do I brought it over here that's about an inch and I brought it up that's about an inch which is the width of the disc on this sander so I'm going to go and do that all the way around and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to lay down a fillet of, uh, of epoxy right in there thickened epoxy all the way around as well so I got a nice radius then I'm going to lay up a layer of fiberglass inch by inch and then I'll just trim it off to this line and I will uh, I'll fare that in afterwards and get it all good. I got it up about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter and the flange itself is about an inch as well so it's sanded all the way around. I just finished laying down a, uh, a fillet uh, thickened epoxy so that gives me a radius that I can work with uh, tomorrow to lay down uh, a layer of 1708 so yeah, so I'm gonna let this uh, gonna let this sit for tonight, and then I'll come back tomorrow and I'll give it a quick sand, a little rough up, and then I'll lay down a layer of 1708 and finish that off. So um, again, as I was saying in in the other uh, video, just the just the one before this one was that there's a lot of cracking and stuff uh, right around that edge because it was so flimsy. So anyway, this is one way to get rid of them and hopefully they'll never return again along this edge anyway so um, that's it for now that's it for this evening and we'll uh, we'll come back tomorrow hey guys so it's a Tuesday morning now and uh, just got a chance to come in as I mentioned yesterday I put the uh, fillet on and I've got that done it's all dried up I just uh, finished buffing it up roughing it up to accept um, the layer of fiberglass that I'm going to put on over it. So it turned out pretty good. Um, sand it nicely and I think we're ready to keep on going. So you saw me wet it all out first with one coat of resin um, just on the existing fiberglass and then I put the layer of glass on and then I wet all that out. Um, I'll continue going around while that is uh, absorbing into the fiberglass and then I'll come back to it and, uh, and then I'll just uh, yeah, uh, roll it and see if there's any air bubbles in it uh, and do whatever I need to do after that. So guys, for anybody that's doubting whether they can do this or not, you know what, honestly, if I can do it, anybody can. Um, it's, it's not that hard. It's kind of intimidating at first, I know, um, but uh, I would encourage anybody that's got a you know small project or a big project or whatever, I mean, to go for it. And uh, there's, lots of, there's lots of help online, there's lots of information, um, you know, to kind of to build up your confidence and to... Uh, 
um, to get your project done. So. I'm just wetting this out, and like I say, just you know, let the let the fibers absorb the resin, and give it a few minutes. Like I say, by the time I get all the way around, I'll be coming back, and I'll be starting over on the uh, on that side again, and I'll be just taking all the air bubbles out, and any places that I missed, I'll uh, I'll put some more resin on there. And so I'm trying to cover the areas that I grinded way last night. So as I mentioned, when I come up the side, I want it to cover um, all the areas that I grinded uh, last night so that when I come back after this is all dry, then I can use as a, as a ridge to, to finish off to that point. So there is an importance to put a fillet down first and give you that radius because this material will not bend um, into a 90. So you have to put a radius down, lay a radius down before you uh, you apply this, and it gives you a nice it gives you a nice finish. Okay, so everything is wetted out. I'm just going to fine tune it with the roller now and get all the air bubbles and uh, if there's any dry spots then I'll uh, put a little bit more resin and let that soak through and then just continue to go around it and uh, just touch it up, tidy it up wherever I need to. Uh, but other than that, um, it's all laid and uh, looks good. I think it's going to be great. So as I'm doing this, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there are air bubbles trapped underneath. And uh, as I do this, I can see the air bubbles just being pushed right out. So um, it's kind of an important step to do. And uh, much better finish with no risk of air bubbles being trapped underneath and causing, you know, um, voids which may be, you know, problem areas down the road, so. But this is coming really nice. When I go over it, you can see it really just absorbing um, in the fiberglass. The resin is, is going all the way through and it's making contact with the old, with the old structure. And uh, yeah, it looks really good. So I'll probably do this a couple of times, just kind of take my time, go back over it, um, go all the way around and then come back. Oh, there's a place right there that's a little dry. Also by doing this, it squeezes out all the extra or excess epoxy that would be underneath or on top. And um, you can just see it working its way out to the edges as I, as I roll over it. So. Um, so you just got to do some research before you start, um, as I do and I did. I'm kind of a, a research nut and second guess myself, same as all of us, I guess. But um, at the end of the day, like I say, you just kind of got to dive in and uh, and do it. And you know, and uh, there's a great great network of, of people um, around that can kind of kind of guide you, can help you. And, like I say it's been done before, so it's it's not like it's it's something new. So I usually have two rollers on hand. Um, by the time I got around that time, it started kicking and um, just started gumming up a little bit. So I got a nice clean roller. I'll go around it again, 
And this one's a little bit smaller, so I get in some of the little tighter areas a little bit better. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go around it again. Hey guys, so today is Wednesday, and I was in early this morning, and um, I uh, done the sanding, cleaned up the the layers of 1708 I put on yesterday. Um, so I mentioned that I was going to put a layer on and I did and then yesterday evening probably about four hours later I came in and I added another layer so I decided to put two layers on and I'm kind of glad I did it was a lot of sanding um, to say the least but I'm glad it um, I'm glad I uh, I put the two layers on there so <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this or not but um, it's about a quarter of an inch now um, that I have to work with so that's the thickness of the flange um, you can see maybe in some areas um, the old 16th uh, flange that was that was there it's pretty it was pretty thin so you got underneath you got let me see if I get my finger in here Underneath you've got the new and then you've got the old and then the layer of new on top of there um, And it turned out really well um, as I mentioned I came down the wall with the sander and um, I sanded away um, The two layers that came up the wall so I had coverage um, over all the areas that I grinded on the uh, on the side um, I can even I even have enough material to countersink my screws when I go to attach it to the uh, the hard top. I have enough uh, enough meat here now to countersink my screws, so it'll give a little nicer of a finish, and that's what I kind of plan on doing. Um, so that's it. The next step would be to um, uh, to lay down some fairing on this, fill in all the little all little holes and pits that. Uh, that's in it right now, and then it's um, it's ready for um, it's almost ready for a prime. So there's a couple of areas on the inside that I want to address um, to finish this project off. When I installed the two layers of 1708, when it was upside down, there's some drips that came down, some runs and that sort of thing that I need to sand down and uh, and clean that up. Also some old mildew, moisture, whatever that is, that needs to be cleaned up as well. And um, then it's pretty well ready for, uh, for prime time. Um, that's about it. I need to clean this up along here. Not sure what I'm going to do there. I think I'll just grind it back so that it's fresh and new fiberglass and the edging is not chipped like it is right now. Um, I could always go ahead and dress it off with a trim that's similar to what they had on there and cover that up. So that's another option that I can do there. Overall, um, not, a, not a ton of work, but it's a good, good chunk of work. Each day I probably, this morning was probably the longest. It took quite a while to sand all this down. It took about five hours, so that's four hours, say four hours. And that's probably the longest day that I've had at it so far. Um, Hour-wise, total-wise, what I spent on this, man, just probably 30 hours maybe so far is what I'm kind of thinking. I'm, I wouldn't be far off, maybe 30 hours to get it to this point of... Um, yeah, material-wise, not a whole lot. Like say, you know the other videos, you know what I've used. Uh, plywood is just a small cutout piece underneath. And then fairing compound, some glass, and resin. Not a whole lot, not very expensive to, uh, to bring it to where I want it, which is a good thing. Um, keep the price down as much as possible on this build, because uh, I know it can get out of hand pretty, pretty darn quick.